here for a few words of welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to the mosque and for joining the walk. Since I have been asked to say a few words, I think the best I can do is to say what we believe in. We believe that peace is the value which brings people together. And as Muslims, we are told to invite people to a common ground. And I think peace is the common ground where everybody can stand together and everybody can work together. In the Quran, which is the holy book, uh, we have been told that Abraham prayed for peace. And I think Abraham also brings people together. Whenever Prophet Muhammad prayed, he said, O oh Allah, O oh God, you are peace, and the peace comes from you, and it returns to you. We believe that peace is divine. Peace is not luxury. Peace is necessary for human being. Yeah. If you want to use the modern language, peace is the basics of human rights. Many people ask me, how can we have peace? Though peace is the desire of everybody, and everyone is looking for peace. And I would say there is only one simple thing you need to do, which is justice. Yes. If you want to have peace with yourself, then you need to do justice with yourself. If you want to have peace at home, then you need to do justice with family members. And if you want to have peace everywhere, then we need to have justice everywhere. I think peace and justice are very important for human life, and these are the things which will bring us together. Thank you again for coming to the mosque, and thank you for joining the walk, and a special thanks to Martin Goss, who has been very active uh, for organizing this, and also to the Lord Mayor, and also to the Bishop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I actually feel quite honoured to be invited here this evening um, to actually be here and to join in and support the Peace Walk. Um, in fact, I think I can uh, speak on behalf of everyone involved with the City Council in this respect. This is an event that represents the different faiths within our city and it highlights the need for all of our communities to work together to accept other cultural beliefs and to strive for a better and more tolerant society. So can I just thank the Iman for inviting us here to the mosque this evening and to Martin Goss and to the Bishop for being here. And lastly, can I thank each and every one of you for turning out to support this event. Thank you. It's a joy for me to be able to welcome you to this Cloister Garth in Exeter Cathedral on behalf of the diocese and on behalf of the cathedral. We began our walk at an Islamic place of worship and teaching. We ended at a Christian place of worship and teaching. But my guess is that those of us who have walked are of many different faiths and of none. But we are all human, and it is our humanity that unites us here this evening. This is an act of human solidarity. 
we stand in solidarity with one another and with all those many, far too many, throughout the world whose lives have been blighted, whose hopes have been destroyed, whose families have been torn apart by acts of violence, terror and war. This building where we end our walk this evening has been significant for hundreds of years, not only in the life of the church, but in the life of this community of Exeter. And throughout its time, it has stood witness to certain truths. We heard at the beginning of our walk of something that the Quran has to say about peace. The Christian scriptures speak of the way in which it is in love and compassion to one another and working for peace through justice that we begin to find our true humanity. And so it is as human beings, in solidarity, committed to peace with justice, that we meet here this evening. And we do so also to remember, to remember those many millions who, as I say, have been affected by acts of war and acts of terrorism, the young, the old, the women, the men, the individuals, the families, those who served in armed forces, those who are civilians. As we stand here, we remember that the words of peace which we heard at the beginning of the walk and the words of peace that we hear at the end are there to give us and to help us to be signs of hope and peace in our world. As we recall the human cost of violence and conflict, we cannot but also recall the damage done to our environment and the fragile ecology of this globe of ours. Every time human beings turn towards one another in violence rather than in peace, and so on this day of interdependence, we come in peace, in hope, and in remembrance. All the victims of remembrance, of all the victims of violence, we shall remember them. <laughs>